Hi hey guys, just a quick demo here of the um, boost converter here, powering, powering the um, big solar arrangement. Please bear in mind both of these are in prototype form. So very much expanded all of this circuit could be easily miniaturized on board that size. Um, the, it, it's night time, so I've um, disconnected the solar, the solar input which is here in the panels. This is a charge output to the to the motorcycle battery down there which I'm charging this is the voltage of it um, it's on the I've got the uh, boost converter program to let me show the code there to um, apply five different power levels by pulse width um, minimum settings uh, six six percent six percent fourteen percent twenty six percent thirty two percent and thirty six percent Thirty-four percent, I think. Yeah. So um, this is a minimum setting, minimum power on a twelve volt battery, which is about twelve point five volts, four hundred milliamps. Going into the circuit is going into the solar arrangement is uh, twelve. 12.5 volts, which is about battery voltage. Um, 300 milliamps. The output of the solar is pulse output at about 23 volts, see how it looks. So what I'll do is I'll range through the power settings here and show the input current from the 12 volt battery. Second, third, fourth, fifth, and let's push the battery into let's push the battery voltage up to recharged and so it drop down. So now I'll go up here. This is in the lower setting. Two, three, and you get to the. It's about one amp at 12.5 volts, 1.1 1 .1 amps at 12.5 volts. Goes up to full charge mode, where the input is 17. Just over 17 volts in the, as well, same thing with the output. And it charges the, it's charging the battery up pretty good. The input at that stage is 600 milliamps at 17.5 volts. Just over 1 amp. And pretty much as soon as I go to the next level, of power there put the battery over that's what it does when it's in the float float mode 
I guess to uh, full voltage output which is controlled here by the other the other knob here control that voltage output there take it down and go up about 20 volts, 21 volts from the solar panel Take the power right off. I've, um, I've set the solar program, the solar controller, to come back out of float mode at a fairly high voltage so that I can demonstrate this. So I'll just run up again. Put it on one amp, about one amp charge. One amp there from the 12.5 volts battery. It's charging out. We're pulsing from 17 volts or so. So uh, the boost converter is a pretty handy little thing. We'll turn the power right down. It's about 400 milliamps or so from the 12 volt battery. just over the battery voltage in into the solar controller but if I go to the next power level which is about 600 milliamps and a 12.5 volt battery and I've got an input voltage of 15 volts almost 15 volts 24 volt pulses, 400 milliamps at 15 volts. I also program the solar controller so that when the input voltage in the actual panels gets down below 12 volts or so, the, um, the duty of the boost coil is reduced to um, maintain some voltage. The input without drawing it down so much. So that's pretty much how it works. I'll just give a glance of the uh, on the other code. Sort of an idea enough to with that. That code there is for the um, PicX08 M2 chip, 
but uh, for the solar control arrangement I think the uh, 14M chip M2 chip would be better because uh, there'd be two pulse with modulated outputs rather than just one with this chip okay then that's pretty much how it works and tune up the uh, tune the child set up in with the using power power variable input power from the fish converter thanks for watching